Hey y'all, let's take a look at some word pro- Oh boy, bad. Hold on. Need to fix this. Dirty words in Saxon again here. I don't know. Puzzles? That sounds like something better than problems. Okay, anyway. Let's go back and translate these into algebra. Practical stuff here. Okay, together Ed and Sally hugged 92 Algebra 1 books. Together. We could say Ed plus Sally, whatever they did together, it equals 92, right? We don't know which one is which, okay? Ed hugged six more books than Sally. So what does Ed equal? Right, Sally plus six, right? Or six plus S, F, S or whatever you want to do. Okay, how many books did each one hug? Well, <coughs> we have two unknowns, right? What Ed did and what Sally did, but we have two equations that can fix that. One of those individually couldn't do it. Could be an infinite number, right? Uh, but together, if we have two unknowns, we need two equations. Eventually, we'll be getting to solving three unknowns with three equations. Won't that be a good day? Okay, anyway. All right, that's our method, okay? Let's look at a slightly different type of problem and look, look and see how we solve this. The number of boys in Sarah's class exceeded the number of girls by seven. How do you write that as an equation? What's B equal? G plus seven, right? It exceeds it, okay. There were a total of 29 pupils in the class. How do you write that as an equation? All right, we got girls plus boys equals 29, okay. How many were boys and how many were girls? Piece of cake, right? This is already set up for you to use substitution. So you can just go B is equal to G plus seven. So just keep your G. Instead of writing B here, just write G plus seven equals 29. All right, so two G plus seven is 29. Two G equals 29 minus seven. G is equal to 11. Well, if there's 11 girls, obviously how many boys are there if there's 29 total? 18, right? Okay. Does that have to add up to 29 first? Yes, that passes that smell test. Okay. Does the number of boys exceed the number of girls by seven? In other words, is that seven more than that? And the answer is yes. So we just figured it out. The same thing as coin problems, really. Okay. Here's another one. Philip cut a two, excuse me, 38 meter rope into two pieces. Okay. Well, the long piece and then I got a short piece. Okay. So stop right there. If he cuts a piece into two pieces, a long and a short, we can go, and it equals 38. What's the equation? You tell me. There's a long piece and a short piece that equals 38 meters. Yeah, okay, we got L plus S equals 38. There we go, okay. The long piece was nine meters longer than the short piece. How do you write that as an equation? What's the long piece equal? Yeah, I mean, that's short plus nine, right? Okay. What were the two lengths? Well, let's just stick it in here. Let's just put that right there. In fact, let's just erase that. Okay, that's not L anymore. It's S plus nine. Okay, so we got S plus nine plus S. So we got an S, there's an S, two S plus nine, that looks like 25. That's two S plus nine is 38. So we got two times S equals 38 minus nine, which is 29. So divide by two, 29 divided by two, let's just say, call it 14.5. Now don't be worried. I mean, can rope be 14.5 meters? Of course it can, who cares? All right, well, if the whole thing's 38, you just subtract uh, you know, 14.5 from 38 and you get 23.5, all right? And those two are gonna equal 38, right? Okay. Well, by the way, let's check it. Is the long piece 9 meters longer? Is 23.5 minus 9, 14.5? Yeah. There's our check. Okay, let's try another one. The sum of two numbers is 72. The difference of the two numbers is 26. What are the two numbers? These are just mental puzzles, is all these are. Just uh, people... <laughs> In case you ever want, and people sometimes go, oh, what, what am I ever going to use this? I don't know, you know, it's just, this is just stretching your brain. This is just thinking games. This is just, uh, you know, when you 
get work somewhere, people your age and even older, and good grief, 20 and 30 year olds, they, they cause more problems than they solve at the workplace, but among people and among you know, numbers and writing things and you know, fixing stuff. Get to a point where you know, you, your, your brain is used to kind of solving problems. That's the kind of people that uh, people want to hire. So let's work on it, all right? The sum of two numbers is 72. You tell me, what's the equation? Sum means to add, right? Okay, I mean, you can call them A plus B. A plus B is 72. Right? The difference is 26. So we go A minus B is 26, right? Okay. What are the two numbers, man? This is set up for elimination. So, I mean, let's just add. What the heck here? All right, let's just add them down. I got A plus A, 2A. These add away. 72 plus 26, 98. Well, 98 divided by 2, 49. Okay. Well, there's one number. Okay. All right, we can just put it back either in any, any one of these you want. A plus B is 72, or A minus B is 26. I don't know, you know, 49, 49 minus something is 26, or 49 plus something is 72. Either way, whichever one you choose, you're going to get B is equal to 23. Works for both. Okay, there we go. All right, try another. All right, pause it and give me two equations. Okay, well here's the first one you want to work on. And this is not impossible. Don't fall into a dead faint, okay? The greater of two numbers, eh, we got two numbers, okay? One number is 16 greater than the smaller, okay? So I'll just call it A and B. I don't know, you can call it X and Y. One, this number is 16 greater than the other one. So, I don't know, let's say this is 16 more. So this, if this is 16 more, we're gonna have to add 16 to that one to make it equal, right? That's your first equation. When added together, ooh boy, their sum is four less than three times the smaller. <laughs> okay, when you add them together, you know what, let's add them together. Their sum is four less than three times the smaller. Okay, so in other words, you know, if you want to mentally, like, this is, you know, well, let's just don't do it that way. This, this is going to be four less than three times the smaller. Okay, well, we know something over here is three times the smaller, right? The smaller one's the B, right? Okay, right? And we've said the smaller one's the B. Well, it's not, it's not three times the smaller. It's four less than that. So we're going to go A plus B is 3B minus 4, right? There you go. And isn't that big of a deal? Let's just make an equation out of it. All right, we could say... Um, I don't know. We could let's just move this. Let's make both of these nice equations so we can just go right up and down. How about that? All right. So we'll take the top one and we'll go a. We'll move the b over and we got minus b is equal to 16. Right. You could do this either any way you want. Doesn't matter. In fact, you know what? Let's just forget that way. If a is the same thing as this, then let's just put it right here. So we have a nice big equation with all b's in it. How about that? Okay. So we got B plus 16, which is that, plus B, you know, here, equals 3B minus 4, all right? We got 2B then plus 16 equals 3B minus 4, all right? I'm going to move this over. That gives me a negative B. I want to move this over, four mi oh, negative 4, excuse me, negative 4 minus 16 is negative 20. So B is going to have to be 20, all right? Well, let's just go right here and go, okay, well, what's A? Well, B plus 16, there it is. So A is going to be 36, and there we go. Now let's check this just to make sure we didn't just totally mess this up. The greater of two numbers is 16 greater than the smaller. Well, that only works because we assumed that was right and we put it in there. Well, let's say it works, okay. When you add them together, when you add them together, Let's add them together. 36 plus 20, 56, right? Okay. They say that that's four less than three times the smaller. Okay. Well, the smaller one's 20, right? Well, three times the smaller one, three times 20 is 60, right? Well, is 56 four less than 60? Yeah, it is. There you go. You got it. Okay. 
Don't give up in two seconds when you see these kind. Just try to, you know, you know you need two equations. You know that. So make one equation. Think carefully about the other equation. Erase a little bit. Try again. Make sure you got it nice and neat. And then, boom, you'll get it. Okay. All right. Let's try one more. The ratio of two numbers is 5 to 4. How would you write, write that? The ratio of two numbers is 5 to 4. A, a ratio is a fraction, right? Well, the ratio of two numbers is 5 to 4. Okay, so something is 5 to 4, right? That's how you'd write it. What two, what letters do you want to choose? I'll do whatever you choose. Okay, I'll do that. You chose Q and Z, just like I did. Good. Glad we chose the same thing. The sum of the numbers is 63. Well, that's pretty easy, right? All right, let's use that Q that you chose and the Z that you chose. And that's equal to 63. That's not that big of a deal, right? We got that one, okay? Now, this is kind of funky on the left. Look at that thing. Let's make that into an equation, okay? Well, we know that anytime two uh, ratios are equal, we can cross multiply and create an equation, right? So let's just go, you know, four times Q is equal to five times Z, okay? And we can use this, and we can use this and kind of, you know, use substitution or whatever. Well, what the heck, let's just, let's get Z over here. All right, so here's our new equation. Que Qui, qui. I tried to say Q and Z at the same time. Okay, let's get that right. Okay, zoo equals 63 minus Z. Yeah, I know. Okay, so Q is equal to that. So since Q is the same thing as that, then let's stick Q right there. So, okay. All right, so we got Q, we'll stick in there. So we got four times. 63 minus z is equal to 5z. So 4 times 63, 252. Negative 4 times z, okay, that equals 5z, okay? And I can, you know, I'll just leave this, and I hate variables on the right, but I'll just do it this one time. Move that over, that turns into 9z, and then 252, okay? And then 9 divides nicely into 252, 28 times, okay. So now the question is, what is Q? Okay, Q is right here, easy enough to do. You're gonna just, uh, you know, subtract. So Q is gonna be 63 minus 28, or 35, okay. And it does equal a ratio of five to four because seven goes into four times here, goes five times there. And again, let's look at it very two seconds, or five seconds. The ratio of two numbers is five to four, that's how you do it. Any two numbers you want, make them five to four. Cross multiply to get yourself a nice equation in one line without the fraction. Sum of two numbers, piece of cake, you got that. Always use substitution, always use elimination. Either one of those is fine. Whichever one you like better, whichever one's easier for you. Okay, all right, go ahead and uh, try the first practice problem and uh, pause it. And we will come together in just a second here. Okay, the sum of two numbers is 98. I got a number, I got another number, it's 98. The difference of the same two numbers is 40. Okay, fine. The difference is 40. What are the numbers? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. You can add or subtract. One, you'll get, I don't know, let's just add. What the heck? Okay, I'm adding A plus A, 2A. Um, 98 plus 40 is 138. All right, A is equal to 138 divided by 2, 69. Okay, if the two numbers together add up to 98, then, you know, you could just plop that in there. 69 plus a number is 98, and you would get 29. And, of course, the difference of 69 and 29 is also 40, so that works. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, the number of girls in Marvin's class exceeded the number of boys by 11, so stop right there. Girls exceed the boys by 11. So girls equals B plus 11. There were 37 pupils in the class. That means the girls plus the boys equals 37. Okay. This is where you can just take them right there. Let's take it right here. Let's just do it. No more G. We have B plus 11 plus this B equals 37. 
2b. Now I'll go ahead and just move the 11 over. 37 minus 11 is 26. So 26 divided by 2 is 13. There are 13 boys, okay? If the number of girls exceeded the number of boys by 11, in other words, there were 11 more girls, so 13 plus 11 is 24, right? Does this check out? Well, there are 37 kids in the class. 24 plus 13, 37. There you go, okay? See you all next time. Have a good day.